Good morning, everybody. Thanks so much for joining us today. My name is Chad Tibbetts. I'm a training specialist with Asa Abuli Academy. This, uh, today's topic for our virtual instructor-led training is Corbin Russwin door closers. Before we get started, I wanted just to mention a few things. Uh, first, that we have two to three weeks of scheduled VILT sessions that are on our website that you can register for and check those out. We have new topics coming in all the time. Uh, one that I would like to highlight is uh, today's session this afternoon at 2 p.m. Eastern is a, a tart part two of two on Luxor One, one of our uh, newest companies with Asa Abloy that provide touchless solutions for package delivery, which is really cool. And, um, you know, of course, during the type of uh, world that we're in now, where people are shopping more online, uh, as well as uh, trying to avoid personal contact, uh, really, really interesting stuff. So check that out this afternoon if you haven't registered for that. Um, Again, I think it's uh, two o'clock Eastern. Also, uh, while you're on the website, if you haven't signed up for our Asal Abloy Academy, we have um, a different site, a uh, learning management system, where you can sign up for free again and take over 50 online courses that you get a certificate of completion after you take a short quiz after every single session. And they range from basic door hardware topics all the way up to more advanced topics such as uh, fire codes. As a reminder, this session is being recorded and be, will be available within uh, 24 hours for you to reference. Again, we have all of our sessions that have been recorded available for you to watch again. Uh, right now, I think in this, there's 160 to 180 recorded sessions that you can check out if you missed something. Also, your lines are muted, but you can communicate to me via the Q&A feature built into Zoom. I'll reserve some time at the end of the session for question and answers. And also, you will get an email thanking you for the attendance today within 24 hours that you can use for self-reporting if you need a proof of attendance for today's session. So uh, without... Uh, Further ado, we're going to get into this session. We'll have you here today uh, around an hour, uh, maybe a little less, but um, really interested to get started. So here we go. Corbin Russwin is a fantastic facility with uh, many, many, many years of, of hardware building experience. They are in Berlin, Connecticut. And this is an aerial view, the top picture that you see there, uh, which is, if you see there that they don't plant crops, that's not a big corn field that you see the rows, but Corbin Russwin actually gets a large majority of their electricity from solar powder, which I think is really cool. Uh, really nice to uh, be as green as possible uh, in, in the world uh, that we're in now. You can see the uh, view there from inside the factory. So it's really nice to have a manufacturing facility that is still manufacturing things in the US. Today we're going to go through uh, several series with Corbin Russell. And the first one uh, that we're going to talk about is the DC 8000 series. Uh, but before we get into the specific series, you may be very new to the industry and not know exactly what a door closer does or how it functions. So we're going to briefly go into that first. So a door closer is a mechanical device used to control a door. And that's the control is the important word there because there are other devices such as spring hinges that can close a door, but they don't control a door. So uh, hydraulic door closers are hydraulic because they are full of hydraulic fluid and the hydraulic fluid works with springs and valves to control that motion of the door. Here's a quick video and I love this video. It shows the internal workings of a door closer and shows you more about what's going on. So if you're a project manager and you're walking a job site and door closers are not functioning properly, uh, this will give you kind of an idea of what's going on uh, that'll help you out. Cast iron closers from Asa Abloy are rugged and reliable, providing millions of cycles with minimum maintenance. But the true durability test comes during those inevitable times when extreme forces are applied to the door and the door closer. Our single piece construction provides uniform strength and wear resistance, 
and eliminates potential leak points. Let's look inside to see what makes this cast iron closer so durable. Here's the basics. Each time the door is opened, the closer arm turns a pinion, which moves a piston inside the fluid-filled chamber. The speed of the piston is controlled by fluid passing from one side of the closer to the other. The valve controls the speed. When the door reaches about 70 degrees open, oil begins flowing through the back check valve, gradually increasing the amount of pressure required to open the door farther. This cushioning effect is called the back check function. When the door is released, the stored energy in the spring pushes the piston back. The fluid is now routed through valves that control the closing speed of the door. The sweep speed valve meters the oil flow from wide open to within about seven degrees of closed. The latch valve then takes over, controlling the last seven to 10 degrees of the closing swing. The latch and sweep speed of the door can be increased or decreased to obtain the desired door motion. So that gives you an idea of what's going on inside of a rack and pinion type door closer. If there is a rack and pinion type door closer that you're looking at, the valves may be in different places, but for the most part, they, they operate at their, at their base level the same. We will be looking at a different technology a little bit later, but we're gonna get right into this. The DC 8000 series is a cast iron closer. It is BHMA grade one certified that talks to the durability uh, we are uh, very passionate about building product that is durable and grade one is the highest level of um, certification that you can get for that. It is both fire uh, rated in US and Canada for a uh, positive pressure and um, that's really important to make sure the doors close and latch uh, in the event of a fire. All of these bodies, the closer bodies are non-handed. Uh, the body itself can be used uh, right hand or left hand, and it can also be used the same body for the standard application or our regular arm, top jam, parallel, as well as track. And uh, what that means for you is if you're a socking distributor and perhaps you have an end user that comes in and needs a, a particular uh, door closer with a particular arm, maybe you don't have it in a package itself. And I know that some uh, distributors uh, piece uh, parts together to uh, help the end user for that day. Just know that the door closer bodies are uh, the same across all of those different mounting types. So you could uh, grab an arm off of the shelf and add it uh, to the door closer. Uh, these door closers come standard with an ABS plastic cover, but know that metal covers are available. If you are interested in the architectural uh, plated finishes, then you would need a metal cover, and that's going to be specified as an M73 quick code. And with Corbin Ruswin, quick codes go at the end of the product string. So if we look here, that's a DC8200 um, by the finish, and then we have a quick code uh, beyond that. But we can do much more uh, electroplating and powder coating than you may think. We have many, many colors that are available for you to choose from and also some custom that are available. So please get in touch with the factory if you have a job that uh, perhaps is a professional sporting team and they want the door closers and the doors and the frames to um, match their color scheme. It's definitely something uh, that is an option. With the uh, DC 8000 series, all of the adjustment valves are staked in place and that just makes sure that it's uh, difficult for an installer to accidentally back out the adjustment screws too far. Uh, just adding to the durability and the longevity of the door closer. Uh, so I think it's a nice touch that Corbin Rust one stakes those valves uh, to prevent, you, prevent um, leaking. Uh, if the door closer is leaking and it loses fluid, then it does need to be replaced. So preventing that is important. We also have eighth inch Allen head adjustment screws. And that again adds to the durability and longevity of the valves. Uh, if you have to adjust the door closer um, frequently, perhaps because of unbalanced HVAC system or something else of that nature, having that eighth inch engagement just makes the valve last longer. And the valves are also made out of brass. Brass is a very smooth and pre uh, precise metal. It allows for really accurate and fine adjustments. 
The DC8200 series, the 8000 series, has two internal pressure relief valves. And these valves work um, with the forces that are exerted on the door closer in high use, high abuse areas, as well as in areas where you may have um, weather issues, very, very uh, heavy wind. So we're gonna watch a quick video explaining uh, what pressure relief valves do and how they work. And I'll say that this is uh, unique to Asa Avloy group brand door closers where we have some of our models that have these pressure relief valves and uh, it's very important especially where I grew up in West Texas where the wind blows like crazy. Cast iron closers from Asa Abloy group companies are designed to outperform the competitors in abusive situations. Pressure relief valves inside Asa Abloy closers lower internal pressures compared to the competitors. During the close cycle, closer oil is forced through the valves to slow the door and prevent slamming. In abusive situations, high pressure builds up inside the closer body. Competitive closers offer no way for the pressure to escape, and this can damage the closer, the door, or the frame. This is why the unique Asa Abloy self-regulating pressure relief valves are so important. Under abusive conditions, the pressure relief valve senses the extreme pressure and automatically meters the fluid to achieve more normal pressure levels. This helps prevent costly damage in high abuse applications like schools and healthcare. To see how closers react to internal pressure, let's pressurize an Asa Abloy and a competitive closer to determine their breaking points. The competitor's closer bursts from internal pressure at 3,100 pounds per square inch. The Asa Abloy leaks at 3,510 PSI. Based on these results, if we don't want to damage the closers, the internal pressure should never rise above 3,100 PSI. Then we tested what would happen when a door is forced closed. Using standard BHMA force tests, a weight is applied to the door to force it through the closing cycle. To simulate abuse, we tested up to the maximum of the test fixture, 145 pounds, and also measured the internal closer pressure. The results show that increasing the force on the door increases the pressure inside the closer. The highest internal pressure reached in the competitor's closer was 2,515 PSI, but the highest pressure reached in the Asa Abloy closer was only 1,856 PSI. You can see the effect of the pressure relief valves beginning at 100 pounds, lowering the internal pressure response to applied force. To see how that relates to real-world abuse situations, we measured how much force people can put on a door when forcing it closed. We found that the average man can easily apply the equivalent of 175 pounds on the door. So, it's easy to understand that during normal use, it is possible for people to exert abusive forces on the closer. But we wanted to go a step farther, so we tested with a college-aged athlete. The results? Over 225 pounds of force was applied to the door, building up internal pressures well above the competitor's potential failure point. The results are clear. People can generate over 200 pound loads on doors, well above the failure point of the competitor's closer. But pressure relief valves and Asa Abloy closers reduce the internal pressure keeping doors, frames, and hardware undamaged. So personal story about the pressure relief valves. I started as a locksmith in West Texas and we had a call one morning where a customer called and they were very distraught. They had had a door closer that actually exploded because of a straight line wind that had grabbed their aluminum storefront door and the closer itself actually did explode and sent shrapnel throughout this small department store and uh, coated clothing in hydraulic fluid. I, I believe that if we'd had a door closer on that door that had pressure relief valves, I don't think that would have happened. Um, so just a real world example of why these are so important. The DC 8000 series is a bracket mount install, which I love uh, being a, a former technician having a bracket that you can mount to the door first, that you can uh, quickly measure and align everything up with your templating and get that on the door. Uh, it just saves you time and energy and having to hold that heavy door closer up there uh, while you fasten everything. So big fan of the bracket mount.
The cast iron closer is a one piece body and that's unique again to our brand. We do that so that we eliminate potential leak points. So really the only places that uh, it could leak are around the adjustment points and the spindle itself. The uh, cast iron just being one piece again, just talks to the longevity and the durability of the device. And these are very durable door closers where we've cycled them over 25 million times. And that's, that's incredible for a door closer when ANSI BHMA one uh, grade one just says that it has to go uh, one and a half million cycles. So having going 25 million cycles, again, just speaks to that durability of that uh, door closer. So a few things, key advantages, again, uh, it's a multi-size closer. The spindle is cold formed heat treated steel that just again adds to that uh, durability. The piston is a one and a half inch diameter that just allows us to move uh, a lot of fluid very in a, in a controlled manner. It does come with self-drilling screws which does help with the uh, installation time. You can order as an option uh, sex nuts and bolts so that you can clamp the door closer completely through the door. Uh, definitely good for a door that doesn't have a door closer reinforcement if it's whether it's a hollow metal or a wood door. Uh, it can be tri-packed. We'll talk a little bit more about that as well. Uh, tri-packed means that it could be mounted regular arm top jam or parallel. And if you want to try pack, then we just need to um, order it with the standard parallel arm configuration. It'll come with a bracket for parallel arm and then it comes with the arm that you would use for the top jam or the regular. And there are also retrofit plates available to uh, go over the mounting holes for an LCN 4040 or 4010 series without having to re-drill holes into the door. Um, I think that's really important if you're um, going from one brand to the other. Uh, so again, a 25 year warranty, very long lasting warranty. We have this really cool feature uh, that some other companies have as well, but it's a power adjustment arm bracket. And for the standard arm, you can rotate the uh, bracket or the shoe of that arm to gain an extra 15% of closing power, which I think is pretty cool. The door closer has all of the uh, same uh, adjustment valves that you would have with um, other standard door closers, including, including the latch speed, the closing speed, the back check intensity valve. Uh, back check is to keep the door from smacking into a wall or a window, something like that. So you tighten that down to uh, prevent, uh, to slow the door on the opening cycle. The closing speed valve. Uh, controls the door from a full open position, whether you've got that door closer templated to 180 degrees or 90 degrees, it controls it from the full open, whatever the door closer can do, down to about 12 degrees of close. And then from that point, the latching speed valve uh, kicks in. The uh, spring adjust is there to adjust the closer from a power level one to a power level six, one being the weakest, six being the strongest. Uh, this door closer is um, ADA compliant, uh, but that means that we may have to back down the spring adjustment to uh, reach those uh, ADA values that we need. And then as an option is a delayed action valve. Delayed action is really critical, especially in the healthcare environment where we need extra time to walk through that door with a cart or perhaps a, a bed or something like that. Delayed action can uh, slow the door from uh, 20 seconds to 90 seconds, depending on how we have the door closer templated and how we have that adjusted. Uh, so it, it kicks in at the uh, 90 degree point and it slows that door down dramatically until it gets to 70 degrees and then it kicks over and the closing speed valve takes it from there. So we're gonna talk about uh, several different closer series, but kind of all at once. Uh, the DC 8000 is the primary one we're going to be talking about, but the DC 3000 and the DC 6000 share most of the arm configurations that we're going to get to uh, next, which again makes it easy for a stocking distributor uh, that uh, they're going to carry parts they don't have to carry uh, individual for, for everyone. Now there's some exceptions to this and we'll talk about those as we get to it.
So the DC 8200 series is a regular arm series and the um, 82 uh, in the two zeros at the end, that just tells us that it's going to be mounted on the pull side of the door. Door closer is gonna be mounted on the door and the arm is on the frame. The arm sticks out, this, um, sticks off of the frame uh, 90 degrees. It is a very efficient way of mounting this door closer, meaning that we gain as much energy or force available in the door closer to control the door. So if we're looking at this, I love the way door, um, Corbin Russ one does part number schemes. Uh, DC stands for door closer. If you've uh, looked at their mortise locks, they're going to start with an ML. Their exit devices are going to start with an ED. So we have door closer. We have the next digit there. Uh, the first number is the series. And then the mounting method is uh, the last digits there. So the standard arm, you don't need to specify any arm if you want just our standard adjustable arm. So to get that, you're going to do the DC 8200 by the finish, or you could specify a hold open. And Corbin Russwin keeps their hold open very consistent across all of their arms and all of their closers. If you want a hold open arm, it's going to be the A1. Okay, uh, we do have some specialty hold open arms that are going to be a different code, but your A1 is your hold open arm. These arms are available for all three series that I was mentioning earlier. Let's say you have a really high use, high abuse environment where you need a heavier duty arm. Well, that's going to be Corbin Russwin's A10 arm. And we would specify that as a DC 8200 A10 by the finish if we wanted a regular arm, but also having it heavy duty. This is a tamper resistant, meaning that we don't use screws that um, attach the linkage, the uh, pivot points, so that you can't take a screwdriver and just um, unscrew it. It's a solid forged steel and, and riveted arm, very, very heavy duty. If you are uh, one of those large institutional uh, K through 12 university healthcare, I would, highly recommend the heavy duty arms in those applications if you're in a really, again, high use, high abuse environment. Now let's say that we have something specialty. Well, all of our specialty brackets and, and feet can be found in the back of our catalog. And as just an example, let's say that we have a bullnose frame where it's rounded. There's not really a flat place where we can mount the door closer arm, but we can order that frame um, mortised so that this mortise arm bracket will will fit and that is going to be specified as an M84 so that would be a DC 8200 by the finish and then followed by the quick code. So moving from a regular arm mount to a parallel, parallel is probably one of the most common ways that you're going to see door closers mounted. It's very aesthetically pleasing. The arm does not stick out into a room or a hallway this is mounted on the push side of the door always. Door closure is mounted to the door. The bracket or shoe is mounted to the frame. Uh, and there are a lot of options when it comes to arms available. So as I mentioned earlier, you can order this as a tri-pack and that's really important for stocking distributors. If you're not sure what the customer is going to be ordering, whether they want regular top jam or parallel, you can just order the DC 8210 and the 8210 is gonna come with this parallel arm bracket, but it's also gonna come with the same arm that we would use for regular and top mount. And it's available with all three models. You can also get this with a hold open. Again, A1, it's very consistent across all of the door closers. It means hold open. So we could do a parallel hold open arm Again, giving you that bracket, and it's available with all three of those series. Let's say we have a heavy duty situation where we want to hold open. Now, in the catalog, there's an asterisk which at, with every hold open arm, and that just means that you cannot use a hold open arm with a fire rated assembly. We can't uh, mechanically hold open 
a door because somebody could hold it open. There could be a fire and the door doesn't come closed. So it's really important that we pay attention to that. But if we want a heavy duty parallel hold open arm, we would specify that as an A2. And the hold open range from this is from 85 to uh, 110 degrees. We have another arm we're going to talk about here in a little bit where we can hold that door open um, beyond that 110 degrees. So that may be one of the factors that you use to determine one arm versus the other. And that's a little thumb turn where you can activate or deactivate the hold open. It's available um, for all three series. If you just want the heavy duty parallel arm that is a, uh, that's a non-hold open, that would be our A3 arm and specify it in the same way. It is also available for all three series. And if we look at the difference between the standard arm, which is adjustable and the heavy duty, uh, you can just tell without even holding them that there is a big difference in strength and durability but not all doors are created equal. There are so many different applications and perhaps you have a door that is just, it's regular use and it's not abused. The regular arm would work fine. We also have the ability to add a stop into an arm and this is a backstop parallel arm. And you can see right here that we have this steel stud that can be screwed from one side to the other that allows us to change the handing from right hand or left hand, making it a non-handing handed arm. It is an A4 arm, again, available with all three series, but this is a, what I would call a dead stop arm. We would change the adjustment place for this arm. We would move it on the door, depending on how far we want the door to open before it hits the dead stop but we always wanna make sure that we adjust the back check properly on every door closer, but it's definitely important here so that the door closer and the arm doesn't smack that dead stop uh, very violently if somebody is kicking the door open or if the wind catches it. And you can see that there's the lug and we can move it to the other position to change the handing. We can also combine this arm which is the, the backstop parallel arm with a hold open. Uh, same hold open that we were looking at earlier with the thumb turn that turns the hold open on and off. And that would be specified as an A5 arm. So there's our stop and it's available for all three series. If you're looking for the most heavy duty arm that we sell uh, really with any of our door closers, you're going to be looking for the Unitrol arm. And the Unitrol arm is a, a trademarked uh, brand name, and we use this arm across uh, Sergeant Corbin Russwin and Norton and Yale. It's available with, with all of those brands, and it has a built-in shock absorber that actually uh, is not a, a dead stop like we would have with the, um, the stop arm that we were showing earlier. It has a spring built in, and it's available with a non-hold hold open like you see here, which is an A11. And it is only available with the 8,000 and the 6,000. So I mentioned earlier, there were some exceptions to the rule that all of the arms work across all three brands. But in this case, the Unitrol is only available the 8,000 and the 6,000. If we would like the same arm with a hold open, and now we're at an A12, and again, not available with the 3000. The way this hold open works is you just take a screwdriver and you rotate that little adjustment to uh, turn the hold open on or off. And here's a few extra looks at that Unitrol arm and how it's mounted to the frame. Uh, very, very secure. That top bracket that you see there keeps the alignment perfectly straight with the plane works really well. If we have an overhead stop, if we have an auxiliary stop on the door and we want to mount the door closer parallel, those are some things that we need to consider when we coordinate hardware together. So we have an A13 arm that is a 
offset arm and it drops the door closer on the door an inch and three quarter, uh, one and three quarter inches to give you room for an auxiliary stop, overhead stop that you could put on that door. So there is our auxiliary stop as an example. And it is only available with the 8,000 and the 6,000. I mentioned that there was another type of um, hold open that goes all the way to 180 degrees. That would be our A14 arm. It is handed. Do you need to specify right hand or left hand? And that has to do with the type of threading that we put into the arm itself. But uh, if you would like a heavy duty parallel uh, with a hold open that is adjustable all the way to 180, again, depending on where you mount the door closer on the door, then that would be your A14 arm. And it, again, not available with our 3000. Let's say that we have a particular door closer in stock and we carry it in a particular way, but we, uh, we know that every once in a while we'll have a customer in that needs a parallel arm offset bracket. We can order those brackets individually. You can also add them as a quick code when you're ordering the door closer. Um, so just know that there are two separate part numbers there. One if you order it with and one if you order it all by itself. And this is for the standard arm and that drops it down for an auxiliary stop or overhead stop. We can also get you a bracket that mounts to a flush uh, transom frame. And here's a, a picture of what that would look like. And again, you can order it with the door closer or just by itself. Uh, moving from parallel, we're going to talk briefly about top jam mounting. A top jam is most often going to be used on exterior heavy duty doors where um, aesthetics and vandalism is not an issue because top jam allows for more strength than parallel. And that would be the DC 8220. So we were the DC 8200, the DC 8210, and now we're at the DC 8220. And you can kind of see how the part numbers uh, work out. If we don't order any special arms, then the maximum reveal that this arm can handle is three and a quarter inches. And that is the distance from the face of the frame to the face of the door. It can't be greater than three and three quarter, uh, three and a quarter inches. And that's for the standard arm. If you have a frame that is deeper than that, then we have this arm that goes all the way up to seven and a quarter. So from that, um, say three and a half to seven and a quarter, somewhere in that range. And it is available in painted and plated finishes, not for the DC 3000. That is the A6 arm for the non hold open and the hold open version of that arm is the A8, alpha eight. We can also make this with a track type and uh, track type is going to be specified, has to be specified uh, push or pull. The 8230 is the pull track. It doesn't change the closer body itself, but it does change the type of track that we are, are using. Uh, one mounts to the face of the frame and then one is actually screwed underneath to the stop. So that's what changes the, uh, the track can't really modify them in the field uh, to make one a pull and one a push. So just know uh, that. It's available with a hold open as well. And again, hold open stays consistent as an A1. And that hold open can be turned on or turned off with a Phillips screwdriver, placing it into the track assembly itself. The 8240, is the push side version and the track has the same uh, features available as you would see uh, with the pull. So going over part number ordering again briefly, if we have here a DC 8210 uh, parallel, uh, our arm and A6, that is an offset finish 
626 right hand D138 that would specify the door thickness as an inch and three eighths. And we have a couple of options, the M71 uh, and M73. If you want the factory to pre-size these door closers, um, you can do that uh, sized uh, four, five, and six if it's a track. You can also have the factory specify the size so they come automatically as a size four, they come as a size five, whatever you know that you're going to need for your project. And that is the last digit in that series. So the 8211 would be that parallel with a size one, 8212 would be a parallel and a size two and so on. And within uh, all of our catalogs, we have all of the arms listed and all of the finishes listed, everything that you need to build a proper uh, part number string, as well as all of the quick codes. If you have a blade stop spacer, and this is primarily used for aluminum storefront doors, uh, this definitely saves the technician from having to run to the hardware store and uh, buy a piece of aluminum to put some holes in. But a lot of aluminum storefront doors don't have enough material to mount a parallel bracket. So this uh, blade stop spacer, uh, you can order it as a half inch or a five eighths is uh, great for those applications. And here's all of the listed quick codes that you can see there. Uh, M71 delayed action, M73 metal cover, corrosion protection. That is an extra painted primer that we put on our closers because uh, they are cast iron and, and cast iron, if it's not protected from the elements will rust. So uh, the extra corrosion pr protection is definitely necessary if you plan on using this on um, an exterior door, perhaps it's a door that's outside, but you have a large awning over it. We don't ever re recommend that you put door closures outside, but I know people do. Uh, if you have to, then uh, definitely order that extra uh, corrosion protection. So uh, that's everything we're gonna talk about for the 8,000. So we're gonna move on to uh, real briefly for the 6,000 and then also the 3,000 because uh, so many things that we mentioned with the 8,000 are the same with the 6,000 and the 3,000. Um, the 6,000 just being a slightly uh, smaller uh, door closer. It's not designed to handle quite the use as this, uh, the 8,000. And the key uh, things that we see with the 6,000, just like the 8,000, uh, heavy duty forged arms, adjustable spring from a one to six, still those captured staked in valves that we were talking about, still comes with self-drilling screws and is still a bracket mount. Um, other brands often have a bracket mount for their top premium closer, but Corbin Russell likes to keep that bracket mount standard across their closers, which I think is really awesome. We have cast iron body again and uh, powder painted arms available. So it is, a, it is a heavy duty grade one closer, full featured in that you can get the uh, delayed action. It also has an additional valve we're gonna talk about here in just a second. Uh, four mounting options, just like the 8000, top jam, parallel, regular, and track. Regular and heavy duty arms are available. We, sh we showed you those uh, six painted finishes, six plated finishes, and it also comes with a 25 year warranty. Now, this is where the valves are located on the 6000 series. You can see that the closer body uh, looks a little bit different. I did want to uh, show you that this door closer, which is unique to this one, has the ability to have a, a back check location valve and that just allows you to change where back check engages. Normally it would engage at about 70 degrees, but we can move that to um, around 90 degrees and that's for those doors that are templated to 180. It just gives you, it just moves your back check out a little bit. So here's our latching speed valve, closing speed valve. Our back check intensity is actually adjusted with a slotted screwdriver. 
There is our fact check location and then our spring adjust. Now, the, one of these things that are a little bit different, right, than what we were looking at with the 6,000 is that, uh, or the 8,000, the 8,000, the factory can pre-adjust, right? It's still going to be an adjustable door closer one to six, but the factory can pre-adjust it. With the uh, DC 6,000, we can actually just order a door closer specifically sized uh, and, and that door closer would uh, not come adjustable, okay? So you've got the DC uh, 62 is a multi-sized one through six. If we add a four on the second digit and make it a DC 64, then we're asking uh, for a particularly sized closer. Like I mentioned, it does come with a install bracket and a standard full cover. If we were looking at ordering, the ordering process is the same as the 8000 series, the series mounting and size, the finish, and then any quick codes or options that we have. Um, here's an example, again, a DC 6413, that tells us that it is a sized closer, it's gonna be parallel mounted, it's going to be sized at a number three, the finish 626, right hand, thickness of a door, and again, uh, delay to action, and then a metal cover. The 3000 series is a slightly uh, smaller door closer. It is a medium duty grade one closer. And remember I said that to be grade one, you have to go one and a half million cycles. So this one meets that. It has a smaller piston diameter. It's really designed for those uh, lighter doors and the doors that are just used less. It is still cast iron regular and heavy duty arms available, although uh, less arms available than what you would find with the two previous. Six painted finishes and three mounting options, which means it's not available in a track mount. And this one comes with a 15 year warranty. So those were our rack and pinion closers. We're going to move on now to a new technology or relatively new technology for us. And that is cam action. That is our DC 5000 series. And the cam action is very, very efficient when you have do uh, doors that need to be very aesthetically pleasing. Um, also, you want to uh, comply with ADA for force, which means that you, uh, you've only got five pounds that you can work with on, on force for AD, uh, ADA in some applications. Uh, so we designed this door closer. It is available with multiple brands but it is very, very efficient. It makes the door very easy to open all the way through the opening cycle. And at the last little bit, it makes uh, the door, gives the door extra strength to latch. Uh, it is a non-handed closer, uh, one piece heavy duty arm, and they're, they're very easy to install just like um, any closer. It is still adjustable spring power from a one through six, just like the previous door closures we were looking at. You have the uh, same valves, the closing speed, uh, latching speed, the back check, and delayed action is also an option. This is a aluminum door closer, where the, the previous ones were all cast iron. And we're going to watch a quick video showing exactly how this works. The Corbin Ruswin DC5000 Cam Action Door Closer features a revolutionary design that combines the aesthetics of a track type closer with superior performance. Our Cam Action Closers are incredibly efficient. The secret is this unique cam assembly. Closing forces are applied to the spindle through the continuously smooth surface of the cam and roller bearing follower. The combination of the piston and cam design greatly increases efficiency. The results are astonishing. On doors equipped with cam action closers, the strength required to pull the door open remains easy throughout the entire opening range. On doors using a rack and pinion closer with a track, the effort required to open the door rises exponentially as the door is opened. There's also a difference in how each door will close. The cam action closer applies a consistent amount of force across the entire closing range, and the closing force actually rises at the last moment, right when the door needs extra force to set the latch. 
The force of a rack and pinion closer with track decreases as the door closes, providing the least amount of force at latch. Simply put, the Corbin Ruswin DC5000 Cam Action Door Closer is the most efficient surface-mounted door closer on the market today. This means that a door equipped with this closer will feel light to open, yet still have plenty of power to overcome light stack pressure or other problems at latch. Corbin Ruswin Cam Action Technology, combining the very best in aesthetics, performance, and innovation. So looking at the internal workings of this closer, we have a two piston design. We have the cam in the middle. We have a main uh, piston and spring. And if you look here, it's really cool. Uh, they have this recess in the cam and this roller falling into that recess is what gives this door closer a little extra force uh, to give you some extra power at the latching where you need it. Uh, once the roller is right here on the outside of this cam, uh, that's why the, the, the power needed to open the door stays very, very consistent and easy. So we have uh, 110 opening range, 110 degree opening range for the push and pull side. Again, adjustable one through six. It's a non-handed closer body. Uh, it is anti BHMA grade one. 10 year warranty on this one. And if you have a door where you're really having an issue latching the door and you also have to meet ADA, this is definitely one that I would consider. So the 5230 is the hinge, uh, is the pull side. So the door uh, closer is on uh, the side where you can see the hinges. And the track itself is mounted onto the face of the frame. And the push side is the uh, 5240. So definitely make sure that uh, you know whether it's gonna be a push or pull before you're ordering this particular closer. Uh, example, same way, um, A1 means that it's hold open. Hold open is available with both the push or the pull. So specify A1 if you want hold open. Same way that we specified the finishes. Uh, quick codes, you can specify the sex nuts and bolts as an M54. And that brings me to um, the end of our presentation, but I want to talk briefly about some digital tools that we have that we've developed to make your job easier. The first one, if you have not downloaded this yet, is the Asa Abloy Customer Support App. You can go to your Google Play Store or your iTunes Store and search Asa Abloy and look for the person with the headset. That is going to be the app totally free for you to use. You don't have to give us your information if you don't want to, but if you're using the app to talk to one of our tech reps or our customer service reps and you get disconnected, having your information in the app gives them the ability to call you back. So I think that's uh, critical. This app allows you to get to all of your installation documents, all of your templates, your wiring diagrams, as well as talk and stream video directly with a customer support and tech rep whenever you're on site. So definitely very beneficial having this on your phone. If you're not in the field, but you're at a desktop working, then our asaabloydss.com resource center is where you can find your catalogs, your templates, your installation instructions, all of those things that you can also find on the Asabli customer support app, you'll find on our digital uh, resource center. So with that, I wanna thank everybody so much for tuning in today. I hope that you uh, found this uh, educational and I'll open this up to uh, any questions that you may have and I'll stick around for just a few minutes. Uh, I do want to mention that Asaboy Academy, there are five of us instructors that all kind of uh, have different backgrounds in the industry, and we work together, I think, pretty well as a team to serve the customers. If you have some custom training that you need for your office, then just please reach out to us, and uh, we can make that happen. If there are no questions. I really appreciate everybody's time today, and uh, be safe and take care. Bye-bye.